Michael, so many um, players who get to this level wouldn't be here without their family, but uh, how much inspiration do you draw from yours? Uh, yeah, it's um, pretty big for me. I mean, I'm a very family-oriented guy. Uh, my brother is autistic, so he needs full-time care at home, and, uh, you know, it's pretty, pretty tough for my parents growing up, but, you know, my mom, um, she's probably my biggest role model for me in my life. Um, you know, she, she battled breast cancer. Uh, you know, in 2007, and, you know, she made a full recovery, and, you know, she's a saint, so my family means everything for me. What kind of inspiration does it give you uh, to see, you know, your family be able to move through some difficult times and knowing that maybe what you face isn't anything compared to that? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, growing up with a sibling with special needs, you learn that there's a lot more to life than just hockey, and I think, you know, I, I grew up a lot quicker than most kids my age and I saw some things that you know normal teenagers don't regularly see so it definitely grounds you and uh, you realize quick that you know family is very important. Uh, in terms of your sister um, who also has a, a hockey career and how proud of you or how proud are you of her uh, playing NCAA hockey? Yeah she's uh, she went to Niagara University for uh, four years there and we're kind of different players she's she was probably faster than me actually uh, she has great wheels and um, you know, she was a good player, but I think maybe maybe I was a little bit more of a scorer and had a better scoring touch, but yeah, she was, she was a good player too. We hear a lot about friendly competition on the ice between uh, family members. Was it the same with you and your sister? Some good rivalries there? Uh, not too much. She, did, she didn't take it as serious as I did, I'll tell you that, but you know, she, she played four years there and uh, she did well for herself. Uh, in terms of being able to stay close to home to play, um, being with the Oshawa Generals, how much did that mean to you in the end just to stay you know, in the area. Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, uh, Oshawa was about 45 minutes from my hometown, so uh, my parents were able to watch pretty much all my home games and in the Eastern Conference in the OHL, it's not too bad. So the travel's pretty good and, you know, having your parents there um, to support you as much as they can is, is really good. Had a few games with St. Mike's and the Buzzers before getting to the Ontario Hockey League. Did, did you ever consider maybe following your sister to the United States? Yeah, I did actually. My uh, my dad was pretty big on uh, the college route and uh, you know I visited a couple schools there in the states and you know uh, school is very important to my family but at the end of the day a uh, Canadian kid I wanted to play junior so it was my decision. You get to do so with the generals as we've said but with some uh, players that have already been through this type of thing. Uh, how much of a, an experience um, was it playing with the likes of Tyler Biggs and uh, Boone Jenner um, during one season? How did that help you? Yeah, um, it was huge for me. Coming in at 16, didn't really know what to expect. Um, new environment, obviously, the jump from minor midgets to the OHL is a pretty big jump. And, you know, I played, uh, you know, alongside those two guys my, my, my whole rookie season, and they definitely helped me out a lot. You know, they're both, you know, great people off the ice and, and on the ice. Their, their work ethic is, is second to none. So learning from those guys uh, definitely helped me for sure. Do you give them a call when you go through a weekend, something like this? Uh, you have Scott Lawton, who you played with as well. Ironically, the draft coming up in Philadelphia. Do you lean on those guys a little bit? Yeah, a ton. I mean, they don't really have anything really special to say. They just say, be yourself. Um, you know, you're a good kid, and uh, you know, whatever happens, happens. Tyler Biggs, obviously a Leaf prospect, and playing with uh, the Marlies at this point in time, getting a lot of attention. Uh, you had a chance to go to the RICO as a team and practice and then go to a Leafs game. Uh, what was that like for you guys as a team at that point? It was good. It was cool. I mean, uh, Big Z obviously being a, a Leaf prospect, uh, it was a pretty usual environment for him and uh, you know, I thought that was pretty special for him. But as a team, we got to watch uh, the Marlies play right after our practice and uh, you know, they ended up beating up a team pretty good, so it was good. <laughs> uh, would you, what would it mean to you if you followed in Tyler's footsteps and get to put on the, the colors of your hometown team, the Maple Leafs. Yeah, that would be um, pretty special. I mean, growing up, diehard Leafs fan, so um, being able to play in your hometown and put on that jersey would be a pretty special feeling for me and my family. I was reading that Evgeny Malkin uh, might be one of the uh, players you, you look up to or monitor yourself after. Uh, where does that inspiration come from? Yeah, Gino. Gino's my favorite player. Uh, love watching him play. Just a big guy, great skill, great hands. and. You no, know, wow, he's a treat to watch, so he's my favorite player. Been busy through this interview process. Uh, how much of a learning experience has it been meeting with uh, over 20 teams? Yeah, it's been uh, pretty busy these last few days, but, you know, I think the team's got to get to know you as a person as well, and I think, you know, getting to know you off the ice is just as important as your on-ice play. So it's a long process, but it's going well.
You feel a sense of community almost with the rest of uh, the guys that are going through this at the same time, as much as there might be competitiveness, you're kind of going through the same things? Yeah, for sure. I think, uh, you know, we'll talk about our interviews and how they went. And, you know, some of them are similar, some aren't. So, you know, some teams are view you different than, than other players and your peers. But, you know, at the end of the day, uh, the team that drafts you is going to put a lot of trust in you. So it's working out well.